Hey guys, in this video, let us learn how to use Ribbon as a load balancer for our microservice application. Ribbon is from Netflix OSS library. Before moving on to Ribbon, let us understand what is load balancing. Assume you have created an application, say for example product app and deployed this in multiple servers. Assume if the number of requests that is coming for the product application is more, then it is our duty that we need to add a load balancer before the application. The work of the load balancer is to effectively distribute the traffic that is coming from the client side. That is, it has to connect it to the appropriate backend server based on certain algorithms. So, load balancing is a process of effectively distributing the network traffic to the backend servers. There are two types of load balancing. One is server side load balancing, the other one is client side load balancing. What is server side load balancing? In case of server side load balancing, the load balancing technique is taken care in the server side. Assume you have a product application and deployed it in three different servers, server 1, server 2 and server 3. We are adding a load balancer in front of this application. This whole process is on the server side. Now, when the number of requests coming from the client side is more, that is, if the network traffic is more, it is the responsibility of the load balancer which is sitting on the server side to identify the appropriate server and connect the request to that server. For this, the load balancer uses certain techniques or algorithms. This is called a server side load balancing because the load balancer is on the server side. There is one disadvantage in case of server side load balancing. Assume that if the server 2 goes down, now you are deploying your product app in one other server. In that scenario, every time you need to go and manually change the details in the server side load balancer. This is about server side load balancing. Now let us understand what is client side load balancing. Let me explain this with microservice scenario. I am taking the example of our microservice application itself. Already we have developed product service and card service. Card service is trying to connect to product service. So, card service becomes the client for product service. If the number of requests coming from card service is more, in that case, I need to deploy product service in multiple servers. It means that for one microservice, I am running many instances. Say for example, in our case, I am running product services in 8081, 8082 and 8083. The client for this product service is card service. If the number of requests are more, we need to add ribbon. Ribbon behaves like a client side load balancer. That is, it uses certain load balancing algorithms or rules to connect to a service that is running in a particular port number. So this is how client side load balancing works. It means the client has the liberty or responsibility of picking and choosing the appropriate service running in a particular server. For doing client side load balancing, we are going to use Ribbon. Ribbon is a Netflix OSS library. It is also called as Interprocess Communication Cloud Library. How actually Ribbon chooses a particular service running in a particular server? For that, Ribbon uses certain specific load balancing algorithms. So, there are few things that you need to understand when you are working with Ribbon. One is the algorithms or the rules that Ribbon uses. Then, how dynamically Ribbon picks and chooses a particular list of servers and then ping URL. To start with, let us see what are the load balancing rules or algorithms that Ribbon uses. Best Available Rule, Round Robin Rule, Weighted Response Rule. Let me start with Round Robin Rule. The name itself implies. Assume you are having your product service deployed in multiple servers. Now, when card service is trying to connect to product service, Ribbon will pick and choose the first service that is available, then the second one, then the third one. So, it goes in a round robin fashion. Next is Best Available Rule. In this case, the load balancer will skip the servers that are highly faulty and it will choose the server that is having less number of requests. The next one is weighted response rule. 
in this case each server is given a weight based on the response lower the response higher the weight now the load balancer will pick and choose the server which is having the highest weight meaning to say that it is taking less response time to return the response from the server so it is your choice that either you can use best available rule or round robin rule or weighted response rule for your load balancer the next one is ping url ping url is to check the status of the server that is whenever you have added ribbon to the client now the ribbon is responsible for pinging that particular server to check whether the server is up and running so the ping url is used to check the status of the server before connecting to that particular service next one is the server list in our microservice application we are registering all the services to the eureka service registry say for example I have multiple instances of product service. All the services will be registered to the service registry. Now, when the client wants to connect to the product service, it will go and search in the service registry and pick and choose the appropriate service. This is fine. What if we don't have a service registry? In that scenario, in the client, it is our responsibility that we need to give the list, static list of servers. in which the service is running so using ribbon either you can use a static list of servers to connect to the appropriate service or dynamically you can pick and choose the server using the service registry while working with ribbon these are the three things we need to consider the load balancing rule ping url and the server list now let us see how to use ribbon in our microservice application let me go back to sds For this example, we will be using only two services. One is product service, the other one is cart service. We will be running three instances of product service. That is, we will be running product service in three different port numbers and one instance of cart service. Let me first start the Eureka service registry. In case of product service, I need to run it in three different port numbers. In application dot yaml. it is running in port number 7090 in this product service we have used dev tools so whenever i am changing the port number automatically it will relaunch the application so i'll go to pom.xml and command this dev tools i'll save this after the application is updated let me start the application product app start now the product service is started i'll go and check the port number The product service is up and running in seven zero nine zero. Next, I'll go and change the port number in application dot yaml. Change it to seven zero nine one. Save it. We are not relaunching. We are trying to deploy the product service in one other server. That is in one other port number. Again, I will run Spring product service. Now, if you see the console, you should have two instances of product service running. let us check the port number here also it is up and running in 7091 now again i'll come here change the port number to 7092 and start the application the application has started i am having three instances of product service it is up and running in port number 7092 okay so now the product service is ready next is cart service in cart service the first thing is we need to add ribbon So select your project right click spring edit starters let us add ribbon ribbon is in maintenance mode click okay now it is added let me open the main class here we need to add one annotation at the rate ribbon client the purpose of this annotation is to specify the configuration details that is needed for the load balancer that is the algorithm rule the ping url and the server list it is taking two attributes one is name any name you can just give the second one is configuration here you are just going to specify the class name which will have the configuration details for this particular load balancer let me give the class name as ribbon config dot class i am supposed to create this class 
I'll create it in the main package. This class should be annotated with at the rate configuration. In this class, you can create Spring Beans to specify the load balancer rules and IPing URL. As of now, I am leaving it empty. To specify that, you go with the default load balancer rule. Now I will come back to the main class. Here we have already annotated REST template with at the rate load balanced. Meaning to say that I am telling Ribbon to pick and choose the appropriate server based on the default load balancing rule. Ok, this is good to go. One more thing is, I want to know to which server this load balancer is getting connected. That is, to which port number of product service this load balancer or this card service is getting connected. So, to identify that, let me go into card controller. I will create an instance of load balancer client. Private load balancer client. And I will auto wire this. At the rate auto wired. And now, within this method, in add menu to cart, here I will write the code. Load balancer client dot choose. Choose takes service ID as parameter. It is nothing but the name of the service to which we are getting connected. We want to connect to product service. So, I will be giving the name as product service. What we have given over here. This is a string. This will return an object of service instance. Let me keep the cursor here. You can see here. Load balancer dot service instance chooser dot choose and you are passing the service ID. When you pass the service ID, that is the name of the service to which you are connecting, it will return an object of service instance. Using that service instance, I can get the details of the other application. So, let me do that. So, it is service instance, instance is equal to load balancer client dot choose, I am passing product service. Now, using this instance, I can get the host details, the instance ID, the metadata details of the other application, the port number to which we are getting connected. So, all the information. As of now, I just want to get the port number. Let me try to print it. This is actually to show how the load balancer picks and chooses a particular port number on each and every request based on a particular algorithm. Ok. I will save this. Now, all good to go. Let me start the application. The application is getting launched. Now, you can see in the console, one Eureka service registry, three instances of product service, one instance of card service is running. Now, let me go to the browser. This is my service registry. For product service, we are having three instances of product service running and one instance of card service running. Let me just open one instance of product service slash product hyphen service slash products. This is just to check whether it is running or not. That's it. Okay, it's working perfectly fine. Now, I will go to card service. From card service, we are trying to get connected to product service. We are having three instances of product service. We don't know to which particular service this card service will connect. So, we will see that how it is happening in the console. So, let me just give cart hyphen service slash add menu to cart. I am trying to get the port number only in this particular method. So, let me select it. I have got the output. The application is running perfectly fine. Let us go to the console. In the console, you can get the server status. The list of the servers in which the product service is running is given over here. 7092, 7091 and 7090. Card service is trying to connect to product service. The port to which it is connecting is 7091. Together with that, you are also getting the details about the server, the total number of requests, the successive connection failure, if there is any black code seconds, when was the last connection made and all the other stuffs. You can also see the load balancing rule, availability filtering rule. We have seen best available rule, round robin rule and weighted response time rule. This availability filtering rule is from the older version of Spring Boot. This is similar to best available rule, meaning to say that it will skip the servers that are tripped. That is, it will skip the faulty servers and choose the server which is having less request. Ok. You can also see dynamic server list load balancer. It means that 
here we are using eureka service registry the load balancer will go and check in the service registry to pick and choose the appropriate server based on the load balancer rule now let us send two more requests from the card service to product service i'll go back to the browser here control c here control v enter control v enter now i'll come back to the console again now in this case it is selecting 7092 then 7090 next let us modify the load balancing rule i'll go to the ribbon config class let us create a bean at the rate bean public i rule i rule return new i will show you all the rules over here first is what we have seen is availability filtering rule let me select this f3 a load balancer rule that filters out servers that are in circuit breaker tripped state due to consecutive connection or read failures so this is availability filtering rule next let me show you round robin rule and here f3 this is a basic load balancing strategy and the next one is weighted response time rule let me select this f3 and here you can see that a rule that uses the average response times to assign dynamic weights per server which is then used in the weighted round robin fashion okay now we will continue with this weighted response time rule let me save this the application is getting relaunched i'll go back to the browser let us send three requests from card service to product service and we'll go and see it from the console now here i've got the output it is selecting 7092 then 7090 then 7091 and what about the rule weighted response time rule so similarly you can try try with round robin rule and best available rule also okay in this case we have used a dynamic server list that is the load balancer will go and check in the eureka service registry to choose a server based on the load balancing algorithm what if i want to give a static server list for that we need to make certain changes in application.yml let me open it let us add two properties over here the first one is ribbon.eureka.enable false by default it is true it means that ribbon uses eureka to fetch the list of servers in which the other microservices is running when i give false it means i am not going to use eureka to fetch the list of servers instead i am going to give a static list of servers by myself the next property is identify the microservice to which you want to connect so for us it is product hyphen service colon ribbon colon list of servers give the list of servers over here so technically it has to be http colon slash slash localhost colon 7091 comma localhost colon 7092 comma 7090 but for me i am running it with docker so let me just go to the browser and i will select this one so it should be host.docker.internal colon 7091 similarly for 7092 and 7090 okay so these are the two configurations that you need to add you are telling that the load balancer should not use eureka to get the dynamic list of servers instead you are providing the static list of servers in which your microservice is running for us we are having product service so we are specifying the static list of servers in which product service is running that's it let me save it i will relaunch card service again the application has started let me go to the browser this is my card service let me refresh it's working perfectly fine i'll go back to the console so here you can see that port number is 7092 and here again it is using weighted response time rule so i hope it is clear in this case the load balancer is checking the static list of servers to connect to product service this is all about ribbon the client side load balancer thank you